You good? In a world where sidekicks don't work and karate is for children, three martial arts senseis team up for what will be the biggest karate club in the entirety of the internet. Including Faze Sensei, Steven Wonderboy Thompson, and then, uh, and then, yeah, I showed up too. I can't help but feel like somebody's doing an amazing karate video without me. Nah, it's probably just my low blood sugar. What's up everybody, let's get this started. Face Sensei and I, round two, getting after it. Throwing some kicky tricks. I tried to start off a little slow, just because I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, saved my my best for Wonder Boy. Uh, yeah, we'll, you'll see how that goes. Best didn't really matter at that point. <laughs> so to give you a breakdown of what you're about to watch, you'll see me and Isaiah spar right here. Got some little highlights there. You can go over to his channel later and check out his point of view. And then later what we'll do is we'll have Wonder Boy and I sparring. We got two different rounds in there and he put me in deep water fast. It's incredibly fun to watch. I'll break down what it felt like in the moment. So enjoy. All right, let's go, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, address this now. If you're gonna come into the comments with the hate and the and and the the PL class, you yeah, you you darn right he did. He's the number six welterweight in the world, best karate fighter in competition right now, 100. percent So yeah, you boy gets pieced up. Oh. <laughs> God, that happened so early yeah uh so essentially what happens here is we both kind of go through this period of all right let's see what we're doing here yeah no i can't throw a couple hook kicks in there his lands mine doesn't uh i'm trying to kind of still get him with the, what i call the chubby surprise which is move a little bit faster than you'd think for a uh a, a thick boy oh nice little side kick there i tried my best not to fall down I, I was like, if I fall down, I'm just like everybody else. I got, I got to at least stay up. <laughs> breathe, Seth. Breathe. Keep breathing, baby. So what Wonder Boy does is really cool, and you see it, but you don't really feel it until you're in there. And what he does is he's constantly faking. His hands are constantly moving. His body's up and down, up and down. And it kind of puts you in a mindset where it forces you. Like, I have to throw something or else he's going to catch me. I have to throw something or else he's going to catch me. And then you throw something, and he catches you. <laughs> Case in point, uh, with all the faints, what happens is you get really mentally drained. Uh, you know, and it's not like I spar competitively. It's not like I spar all the time, uh, especially not at this rate. So what you what'll happen is your body's starting to go physically, and then mentally you're like, whoa. I tried to bounce around with him and what felt like it was happening I felt like I was it felt very familiar but at the same time very foreign in a sense that I couldn't land anything his timing was so much better so much faster he was doing such a good job of of staying right there I mean wh how what am I supposed to do about that it just his way to 
keep his hips back and he moves his head forwards and backwards. There's just not much I could do. Uh, it was really fun though. So I got pretty frustrated about halfway through. I was like, man, I can't hit anything. You know, the, as you spar, you, you kind of tend to base your skills on how well you do in there. And you're like, you know, you get halfway through it. It just feels like a sparring match. You know, everything kicks in. You're like, okay, I'm just, I'm just fighting somebody. But then, you know, realization kicked in again about halfway through, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I forget I'm fighting, you know, Wonder Boy, 47 no kickboxer, number six in the UFC, just absolute stud of a karate fighter. So it, it makes sense why I'd get pieced up. Always in the right spot. I was right now. I'm like, yeah. Chubby surprise. Let's go. I've blinked right twice. Right, I'm gonna chastise you. If you punch me four times, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chastise you a minute. Okay. You're right here, and, and, you're, and you're gonna spin, and you're gonna spin, spin, spin back uh, kick maybe, spin back kick. I was, I was going he, for it. He was like, uh, 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 then he goes. I'm like, you need to show me that. What was that? What was that was, technique? Well, uh, first, I was gonna use my chi. Oh, that was that. Yeah, yeah. okay. I tried to push him away. Oh, I know yeah. I was By the time I went to push him away to do it, I was like, There's no work. No work. I think I uh, might have pulled my hammy a little bit more. It's all right. So yeah, I mean, arguably you could say that when he hit me with that hook kick, I gave a little, I gave a little something into it, which is probably why he hurt his hamstring. You know, you could say that my head's hard enough to rip a grown man's hamstring. That's all I'm saying. Who you going with next, Steven? Come on, man. Finish it. Oh, number two, round two. All right, redeem yourself. All right, here. What do you mean, redeem yourself? Dude, he was doing, he did Here's, great, bro. Your space before. Yeah. And we'll go after Dude, it was good. Don't let him we'll, lie. We'll, He's uh, good. We'll... Remember, breathe, breathe, right? So I'm not going to talk over this one as much. I want to make sure you guys can actually watch it. And uh, feel free to take it in, listen to some of uh, Sweet Tea, Tony stuff, and uh, you'll hear Mr. T yell at me every now and then, too. But mostly I just want to kind of let you live through this one rather than hearing me talk all the way through it. All right, have at it. There you go, that was a nice time right there. Seth, the hook kick. Where's that jab, George? Up on it. There you go, good job. Up up, up, up. That's There you go, breathe. Good news is you got a minute and 15 left. Good news is you only have six minutes left. <laughs> From my point of view, this gets much harder to watch as we go on. Uh, my stamina definitely starts to drop a little bit. I can feel myself, you can see it now, my head is leaning forwards. Wonder Boy is very obviously, I wouldn't say being nice, but he, he's, he's matching my pace, which is cool, and then pushing it a little bit more. You see him pushing the tempo here. I'm just kind of trying to survive and, and eat what I can. Well. <laughs> Exhaustively uh, letting out whatever noise that was. And as a takeaway from this, I think what I really want to start doing is work on, uh, you know, I don't get a, an opportunity to really push the pace a ton or, or, or sort of 
bounce around for long, long periods of time. When I do spar, it's usually two minute rounds, which is much different than three. And, you know, I mean, honestly, a lot of the time when I spar in this Last format, ten. it's with the kids that I teach. And when I spar with adults, it's Muay Thai stuff. So that was, uh, this is definitely a very eye opening experience. Ah. <laughs> yeah, your, your face looks normal, so. Dude, it's great. Oh, Got some good hook kicks out there. Got another hook, it was nice. Got some round kicks in there. Go to walk forward and make them work. I call you know those my chubby surprise. <laughs> <laughs> the chubby great, surprise. Great. That was a blast. Uh, thank you, everybody at the Thompson family. Wonder Boy, Mr. T, Sweet T, every single one of you guys. Mama T, I don't know if she has a nickname or not. I'll have to, I'll have to check back on that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for letting us come down. Thank you to Isaiah. He flew down to Boston. I met him in Charlotte. We drove down there together. It was a great time. What? He said flew down to Boston. He flew from Boston. Oh, yeah. From Boston, flew down from Boston. I met him in Charlotte. Uh, drove to Wonder Boy's spot. It was an awesome time. Face Sensei should be uploading some stuff between he and I, and then he'll have his own perspective on sparring Wonder Boy, and then Wonder Boy will have his whole thing. I'll have a fight talk with Wonder Boy soon on how to implement karate style stuff into MMA and how to add more power. And also, we'll have a video where we decide who's the most Bruce Lee. Lots of fun challenges and tricks and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications. And uh, if you liked any of the gear that I was wearing, make sure you go to hayabusafight.com slash sensei set for all of your punching people and kicking people in the face needs. Subscribe or I'll kick you. Dude, Ooh, two. two. Brush it right now. Three. I missed both of these. <laughs>